My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 101 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the preparation of Akanos using ethanol as an example. Akanos, just like other compounds, can be prepared in the lab and in the industry. Once you don't need an element or a compound in large quantity, or you just need them for experiment, you prepare in the lab. But for business or to produce on a large scale, you have to apply industrial preparation because lab preparation will give you small quantity of the substance that you need. Preparation of ethanol in the laboratory is very, very easy. What do you do? When eating C2H4, react with steam in the presence of H2SO4. Ethanol is formed. Ethene C2H4 reacts with water, gas, that is steam. In the presence of H2SO4 as catalyst, you form ethanol. Wow, that is pretty simple, right? So, ethene plus steam in the presence of H2SO4 will give you ethanol C2H5OH. How about in the industry? Industrial preparation of ethanol involves or has to do with the fermentation of carbohydrates. Fermentation of carbohydrates. This can be done in two ways. We can get ethanol from starch or directly from sucrose. Look at this. When an enzyme called diastase acts on starch, it will convert this starch to maltose. Starch to maltose. Diastase. This diastase is an enzyme gotten from malt. So, from starch to maltose, diastase acts on it. Then another enzyme called maltase will act on this maltose to convert it to glucose. To glucose, so ma this. Now, from glucose to ethanol, an enzyme called zymase we add on glucose to convert this glucose to ethanol. So, from glucose to ethanol, zymase. Diastase is from malt. Maltase is from yeast. Zymase is from yeast. Jam may say, which of the following enzymes is not from yeast? They will give you diastase, maltase, and zymase. Maltase is from yeast, zymase is from yeast, but diastase is not from yeast, it is from malt. Apart from diastase, other enzymes involved in fermentation are from yeast. Even if you are getting ethanol from sucrose, all the enzymes are from yeast. So let's look at this once again. Starch is converted to maltose and maltose to glucose. Glucose to ethanol. That is SMGE. SMGE. Starch, maltose, glucose, ethanol. Take note of that formula. SMGE. Now, the enzymes involved are diastase. Maltase and zymes, DMZ. Enzymes are organic catalysts. When catalysts are from natural source, we call that enzyme. Then the sources of the enzymes are malt, yeast, and yeast. Just know that the first one is malt, the second, the other ones are yeast. So, 
Diastes acts on start and is converted to Matus. Then Matus acts on Matus to convert him to glucose. Glucose. Zymes acts on glucose to convert it to ethanol and water. You can as well prepare ethanol directly from sucrose. When an enzyme referred to as inverted acts on sucrose, it will change it to glucose. So sucrose to glucose inverted. From glucose to ethanol, then zymes. So S G E I Z. Now what happened here? In this case, matos, this step is skipped. Production of matos. Either you are using starch or you are using sucrose. Is ethanol and carbon for all that? These are the results. So I hope I've been able to make you understand laboratory and industrial preparation of ethanols. If so, glory be to God. See you in the next episode. By the way, subscribe to this channel if you find it interesting and helpful. Tell your friends and everyone about the Flash Learners YouTube channel and don't forget to get the Flash Learner Jam app using the YouTube description or visiting flashlearner.com for various versions or searching Flash Learner Jam on your app store. You can as well chat me up directly for both installation, activation and other instructions that you may need. See you in the next episode.